back. Huh? Get back! Oh, God, no! Weeks pass by in a steady rhythm of rhythm of peaceful, if not bland, days. Oh shit! Time skip. God damn, bro. Even as we neared mid-cycle exams, it was hard to stay equally enthusiastic with all of my classes. Interesting. So okay, so time skip to like the to like mid semester is what I, is what I'm getting here. Okay, so now oh oh damn damn damn. Is she also part of the harem? You see her? She's blushing over here. That, that, this guy right here looks like Sokka from Avatar. Still, even with my skills as a mage growing with the help of Toby and my teachers. Hey, look, they all have a lunch together. I never forgot the real reason I ultimately decided to attend school. And because of that, the small moments in my everyday life with the people I grew to cherish, became the thing I look forward to the most when I woke up each day. So anyway, there are a few more students in my class that learned how to... You there, buddy? Oh, what did you say? You've been a bit out of it these days. Are you feeling okay? It's nothing. Just worked about- just worried about the exams coming up. You have the B- you have the Beast Glaze excursion tomorrow with Professor Glory's class, right? Don't overdo it on your training with Princess Tessia. I'll see you later. Y yeah, see you. He seems mad at Papa these days. So you feel it too, right? It's not just me. Is he questioning what he saw? Maybe he didn't brush it off. The integration of your beast wolf to your mana core is looking a lot more stable lately. It's all a sign that the mana beast wolf will fight won't stand a chance against me. Ouch! Damn, hit her with the Itachi. Don't get full of yourself. You're probably not even at half your usual strength because of the assimilation process. Wow. Says the guy heading straight into the Beast Glades while restraining his two most powerful elements. The difference is I can always remove my limiter. You can't. He said I could always just be like, I'm gonna win now. You can't do that. I know, but you don't have to baby me so much. I'm still a year older than you, remember? Yes, yes, I remember. I also remember this. Well, well you see... Oh, damn! He said I'm gonna reenact the time you got kidnapped, bro. Kidnapped, bro. That's crazy. Beasts will more likely appear if they notice you out here because they'll see that you're a kid. So for our safety, you should keep your guard inside the tent. Damn, son. Caught in 4K. You asked for this. She gonna tickle him. She gonna tickle him, son. Oh, no. No, she she's gonna... She hit him. And now and now she's like, bro, would y'all just... Would y'all just say y'all love each other already? Like, this is getting mad annoying. I already called her mom. What more do you need me to do? I want the two of you to get closer, but... Oh, caught in the act. Oh, shit! Caught in the act by Grandpa, son! Oh, oh, shit! I didn't think I'd be walking into this. What are you talking... Yeah, bro, you are on top of him. Like, did you not notice? What are you doing back in Zyrus, Gramps? I thought you'd be locked up in the meeting in meeting with the council. Oh, I am. I just escaped for a quick breather to check up on my precious granddaughter, who is apparently all grown up now. Damn. Grandpa, stop making things weird. Th that hurts, little one. Ouch, ouch. I was a little worried since the dungeon excursion is tomorrow. I originally wanted to have Cynthia keep an eye on her just in case her core flares up, but she's out. Anyway, I was hoping you could you can be with her until you until your field trip tomorrow. Normally it wouldn't be a problem, but I promised to visit my family tonight so I so we can spend some time together before the excursion. Perfect, you could take the little one along. What? Yo! And then the mom's gonna be like, hey, don't forget. Don't forget. You're gonna be the one he marries. I expect children. Like, bruh. This is the lot. This is the lot, son. No way. I'm not falling for whatever for whatever you plan whatever eh, for whatever you have planned. I can already imagine how my parents will react if I bring Tess home with me. I'm not bringing her with me. Bruh! Bruh! Varian! Like, son, he said, I'm not doing it. And Virion was like, this means yes in my country. <laughs> I can't believe I brought you with me. It's about time you two got here. How'd you know Tess was coming too? Virion told him. Wow. 
Wow. We had a suspicion. We had a suspicion. I know it was the mom. Well, are you two just going to stand outside? Come on, come in. Dinner is almost done. Come on, I want I want to show you how good I how good how good at the bow I've gotten. I completely forgot she has that bow. Helen has been training me every time the twin horns visit. Hurry. She's like, up, oh, that's gonna be my sister-in-law. Damn. And Arthur's just like, well, I might as well just let this happen. It's gonna happen anyway. Oh, damn. Oh, damn, plot. Oh, I forgot. One of the Lances are out here trying to figure out what's going on. The trail splits again. Lance Foray was right. There's no way the Titanic Bloodworms are moving on their own accord. Based on the patterns of the tunnels, they all seem to be converging to this area and leading further down and east and east toward the Grand Mountains. If that's the case, what she about to see? Oh shit! Oh shit! What the fuck? That's definitely a Haiti serpent. But why does it have horns? And the coloring? It's only been recorded as gray with blue fire along its back. And for a species that doesn't even care for its offspring, it doesn't make sense for it to be guarding something like, like a tunnel. Lance Foray. I have visual on, the, on an abnormal Hades serpent guarding a tunnel that's emanating large quantities of mana. Do you think it's the source? I will go by your judgment. Based on the similarity of its coloring compared to the other deviant mana beasts that, I have, that have been cited, I believe it is. Requesting backup. I have 50 battle mages ready to be teleported to the nearest gate. Stand by and wait for further instructions. She's about to get bodied right now, son. Yes, ma'am. So they just had dinner. My man is drunk. If you keep getting drunk every every time I come home, I'm just gonna stay at school. No, you're being a meanie poo. Wow, wow, he drunk drunk. Your father might actually cry if you stop visiting. He's already half regretting sending you to Zyrus Academy. Do you know how embarrassed I was while he told all those stories? In front of the student council president, no less? Damn. Ah, where did she go anyway? Tess wanted some fresh air, so my mother went with her to make sure she didn't get lost. Oh no. They gonna have the talks, and it's not gonna be good. Bruh. Oh, I see. Oh, and she knows it's about to happen. Are you going to take Ellie up to her room? I think the big brother should do it. Your sister has been asking when you'd visit at least once a day. You should tell her that you're leaving tomorrow morning just in case she sleeps in late. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for coming today. I knew it couldn't have been very comfortable for you. Actually, I had a lot of fun. Watching Lillian and Arthur's father was quite enjoyable. I think the word you meant was embarrassing. Yes, maybe that too. Are you worried about Arthur heading into the dungeon tomorrow? Okay. She said, I'm gonna talk about what's really stressing you out, bro. Of course. Even though he's so strong already? Even if Arthur was stronger than all the lances combined. I'd still be worried. That's just how unpredictable and dangerous even the most docile dungeon can be. Sorry, I don't mean to scare you before your scare you before your trip. That's okay. And you don't have to worry, Mrs. Lewin. Just like he's done for me. I'll protect Arthur in case anything happens to him. Aw, damn. That's sweet of you, but I'd rather you don't. Huh? You're a precious daughter to your parents as well. How devastated would they be if something were to happen to you? True. Your own safety should come first. I'll trust my son to take care of to take care of himself. Anyway, it's getting a bit too cold for me. Did you want to head inside as well? I think I'll stay out here a little longer. Thank you for showing me around. Of course. Is she gonna wait for Arthur? I feel like she's gonna wait for Arthur. I feel like she wants some alone time with Arthur. Oh, are you awake? What time is it? It's still nighttime. When are you leaving? Tomorrow morning. Damn, son. You can't stay any longer? Nah, bro, I gotta hunt monsters and shit. Unfortunately, no. But I'll be back for a week after the dungeon field trip. Fine. Then can you at least tell me a few stories? Bro, there are some people in my school who got these demon tattoos, and they be going buck wild, bro, for no reason. I don't know what's going on. Uh, they call they calling it fucking mana herpes. That That's what they're calling it. I don't know, well, I have to get up pretty early tomorrow. Damn. Fine. What story did you want to hear? 
You never finished your story about how you became a professor. Wait, where did I leave off again? Ah, so Professor Geis Ember Wisp spell couldn't w couldn't be stopped once activated. So I stepped in and pulled and pulled Kathleen out of the way because she was defenseless. Kathleen? Do you mean the daughter of Sapin's King Kathleen? Yeah. You saved another princess? You make it sound like I go around looking for princesses to save on purpose. Anyway, after I saved her, I asked the professor to duel me instead. To impress the princess, right? That's not it. Gah! I'm sorry. Long story short, after I defeated Professor Geist, the director of Zyrus Academy reached out to me and asked if I wanted to be a teacher. And you accepted? Just like that? Of course not. Who do you think I am? I kept rejecting them until I got access to the part of the library with restricted access to only certain professors. That's it? They also got a private training room li lined with mana crystals. The other teachers and DC officers are also lenient with me because of that, which gives me more time to train. So are you a good teacher? Of course, some students that aren't even in my class come to watch. Really? I wouldn't, you brat. So, do you use a training room in there with Elijah and Tessia? Sometimes, but recently Gideon has been really has been really making me some making some headway on improving Toby. What's a Toby? Honey, have you seen Arthur? He wasn't in his room. Maybe he's eating breakfast? He couldn't have left already, right? Is Ellie up? Aw, oh, that's mad cute. That's adorable. Everyone get with the teams! You should use this time to get some hunting done while we're down in the dungeon. Are you sure? Of course, it's a low-level dungeon and Professor Glory will be with us the entire time. Okay. So we're just gonna send- so no one's gonna ask any questions? Just gonna send this pet dragon to go kill some- okay. Just let me know if something goes wrong. I still can't believe Professor Glory grouped me up with them. Yeah, I've been here countless times. That is until it got too easy for me. Oh, God. Lucas Wikes, bro. You, whenever Lucas is there, nothing good comes from it. Like, something terrible is about to happen, and it's gonna involve Lucas. And Lucas is probably, it's probably also gonna involve Lucas, like, leaving someone behind. And them going like, bro, we're a party. He's gonna be like, y'all a party. It's me, myself, and I. That's my party. I was just using y'all to get to where I gotta get to. That, I don't know. I, I don't like Lucas being here, but I know he has to be here. I feel like one of two things is gonna happen. One of two things, I didn't put my fingers up right. One, Arthur and Lucas are gonna go about it, are gonna go at it again. And Luke, and Arthur's like true identity is gonna be either revealed or close to get revealed, right? For one thing. Second thing I think might happen is that Lucas is just gonna do some neck shit and leave his friends behind and cause students to either get severely injured or possibly killed. I hope none of that happens, but we'll see. I am an A-class adventurer after all. Wow, so cool. As expected of the Wikes house. I heard from an adventurer friend that you got your license revoked. That T, bro. Oh shit. Are you just jealous of seeing my popularity or something? Why? I just told the truth. Bro. Enough! We still have to decide on a team leader before we go inside. What do you mean decide? Of course it'll be me. Nigga! That, you have learned absolutely nothing from your last dungeon excursion. Who else would I vote for Tessia? Wh what? Me? Why not Art? You already have experience with leadership as student council president. And you're a mid-range conjurer that can keep an eye on everyone. And if she's a leader, we can name our team the Queen and Her, the queen and her Knights. Ah, that's cute. Idiots. Everyone ready? You all know each other's abilities already, so be sure to utilize the basic positioning and team tactics we learned in class. Let's go! Keep moving and stick with your teams. Remember to protect yourself with mana at all times. <laughs> How is this something this cold? Did you not hear Professor Glory over her chat over your chattering teeth? She said to augment yourself, even without using mana. My body doesn't seem to be as affected because of my assimilation with Sylvia's dragon well. Wow. I know it's a dungeon, but it's beautiful. Just in case you weren't listening in class, this is the D-class dungeon called the Widow's Crypt. We'll only be staying in the first two floors so the so the mana so the only mana beasts we'll have to worry about are snarlers. I read up on snarlers before the trip. They're not strong, but it's pretty hard to kill one of them since their fur is so thick. Not to mention the fact that they're so ugly, it's kind of gross to get close to one of them. I heard it's pretty easy to start to spot a few groups even in the first floor. I wonder if a team of adventurers came by recently. 
Professor Glory, she said she said she said she ordered the Adventurers Guild to restrict access to this dungeon for a few weeks for us. So yeah, it's weird that we haven't spotted even one yet. We should have come across a fair amount of snarlers already. Bro, bro, already, already, bad vibes. Teacher, red flag, abort, get out. No longer a field trip, just leave, just go home. Just go home, this is how you know. Even though you went into a D-class dungeon, some S-tier shit about to pop up and possibly hopefully kill Lucas. I'm not wishing it on him. I'm just making a theory, a manwa theory. And I'm really hoping it comes true. Where are they? Keep your eyes sharp, everyone. Don't lower your guard just because we don't have visuals on the beasts. What's the point of staying here if there aren't any beasts? Bro, here we go. What happens if there aren't any mana beasts in the first or second floor, Professor? Will we be going further inside? Absolutely not. If we don't find any mana beasts in the first two levels, we'll report our findings to the Adventurers Guild. Maybe we can hunt for some mana beasts outside the dungeon if- Oof. Oh no. Back. Huh? Get back! Oh god, no! That's a lot of snarlers. You heard the professor, come on! Bro, I don't, those don't look like regular D-class monsters. Like what? Oh damn, never mind. They are no problem for her. These snarlers aren't any stronger than they usually are. But they shouldn't be coming in hordes like this. Snarlers aren't hard to handle, but their behavior is concerning. Putting everyone's safety as priority, I'm calling an end to this excursion. Good. Good. Everyone is to head back to... What did I say? What, what did I say about Lucas doing some dumb shit? Didn't I say Lucas is gonna do some dumb shit, bro? Safety my ass! Why would you bring us here? Why would you bring us here only to leave when things finally start to get interesting? They did go down pretty easily. Maybe this isn't so bad. Yeah, I mean, this is only a D-class dungeon after all. Don't listen to him, bro! He got his license revoked! You heard Arthur say it! He was exposed in 4K! How you gonna do- Mmm. I think we can still try- Still try and train here, Professor. Prince! Prince! You should know better! And DC officer, what the fuck? Don't nod! Don't agree with that nigga! Like, no! You see his face? He said, safety my ass! Already! Already you should know! This is probably not a good idea. Am I the, am I the only one that has watched Terraformers? Am I the only one? Cockiness in ego gets you nowhere. Don't assume shit. If the teacher says no, fall back. She's been doing this longer. She has more experience. It's understandable that Professor Glory is hesitant, especially with lances with the lances investigating the dungeons. Depending on what the lances find in the beast glades, this might be the only chance for these students to gain experience from a dungeon excursion. Besides, the snarlers are only E-class beasts, so as long as I'm here, it should be fine. I don't know. I, the thing is, I'm not even worried about the snarlers. It's if they're act, if things are, if things seem off, if things, if if thing, if these beasts are acting in a weird manner, maybe you should like rethink about your whole plan. You know, like if they're not usually in hordes like that, maybe they're in a horde for a reason. Do you, do you know about people who could tame beasts? This whole black continent became a thing, and we have no idea what that's about. So what if somebody's out here taming these beasts and po and can possibly make them stronger? What if we're all we're seeing E rank snarlers right now, but then an S rank snarler shows up out of nowhere and kills a student? What you gonna say, Teacher Kun? What you gonna say, Sensei? You gonna be like, oh, I didn't know, I didn't think it was gonna happen. You were warned, you you saw the flashback, but nah, you didn't want to listen. It's okay though. We'll see what happens. I could be wrong. I could just be wildin', but we'll see. Besides, this Nars are only E-Class B, so as long as I'm here, it should be fine. Fine. Split into your teams and take different parts of the floor. We don't want any friendly fire happening in here. Yes, ma'am. I don't think they should split up, but okay. But they're mad happy. And Lucas, if you do something like that again, there will be consequences. Yes. He, he don't want to listen to her, son. And she knows it. Arthur, I want you to be I want you to be the vanguard, since you're the best at close range. Clive, Roland, you two take position behind Arthur to his left and right. Focus on covering him, even if it means letting a few past you. Lucas, you stay in the middle. Oh, Lucas is the part of their group too? Aw, oh, damn. We'll go with the diamond formation like we learned. Yeah, yeah, stop taking this so seriously, princess. This is just a dumb field trip. That bass, let it go. We have bigger things to worry about. 
A. Watch out! Oh, thanks. No problem. He's like, I'm a teacher, fool. What you mean? A, the squad, except for Lucas. Lucas is never part of the squad. A. Fuck you, Lucas. You will never, you will never get cheers. Don't save him! I mean, she did make him look kind of dumb, so that's cool. Everyone is holding up well thanks to their training in class, but they're not used to prolonged battles. Oh, they're getting tired. And the number of snarlers aren't dwindling. Teams, follow your leaders. We're going to, we're going back up. You heard the professor, everyone back. I did not think he used the bow and arrow, but okay. Okay. Ah, Arthur, just go. Oh, sh oh shit, H help. Damn it, I need a single powerful strike to blow them back. Otherwise more will pile on. I never got to test this out on Toby. Let's hope it works as well as it did in my head. Bro, he's about to do a move he never tried before. What is he about to do? Grab onto something. Burst blade. Oh shit. Damn, son. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. The realism, bro. My man dead knocked his shoulder out of his socket. Oh, shit. You can't be serious. No way. What? The Yo, this is why I said back out. This is why I said back out. This is dead ass following video game logic. You beat the regular version, now they got wings. Yo, 